welcome to the Tarot Cottage. This is my pick a card channel. So welcome to all of my beautiful returning subscribers. Welcome to everybody new to the channel today. All of my new subscribers, anybody who is stumbling across the channel for the very first time, I welcome you here. We welcome you to our beautiful soul family. Um, Thank you for your presence on this channel. And as a thank you to my subscribers, I do offer a chance to win a free tarot reading from me. So be sure to drop your comments beneath any of my videos this month for your chance to win. Be sure to check your notifications if you have left previous comments to see if I have left you a comment notifying you as one of my winners because I'm waiting to hear back from one of my most recent winners. And be sure to hit your notification if you do drop a comment so that I can notify you if you're chosen as a future winner as well. So welcome to the Tarot Cottage. Um, pull up a chair, get cozy. We're going to have a little chat because we're all friends when we gather around my table. Today's Pick a Card topic is all about your next significant relationship. So what can you expect in the next significant relationship? Perhaps you're in a relationship right now, so you may be able to see if this is the one that Spirit is talking about, about the significant, um, the significance of this connection in your life moving forward. We do have three piles to choose from today. Pile number one with the like attracts like and the blue flower, pile number two with the romance and the white flower, and pile number three with the pink flower and the be supportive card. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, there may be messages waiting. I'm going to jump into pile number one. Again, today's topic is all about your next significant relationship and what can you expect out of that cycle, pile one. Hello, pile one, you were drawn to the beautiful blue flower. You were drawn to the like attracts like card. And this card says, if you if you long for more love, be more loving. And there is something beautiful about this card. There's something beautiful about your choice too. And I'm getting almost like a melancholy feeling coming from you, pile one. So maybe you're just really wanting to attract your person. You really are tired of the rigmarole. You're tired of waiting. You're waiting for the universe to sort of correspond to the nature of what you've been singing about in your heart of hearts. And so in this moment, they want you to go inward. If that is what is describing you in this present moment, they want you to go inward to really reflect upon what's laying in your heart space right now. Is it optimism? Is it is it a successful type of expectation? Or are we suffering from a little bit of fear, worry, loss energy because they want us to understand that our heart is magnetic our heart is communicative and it's going to tell the universe what we want through that emotion and so if you want to attract the love in your life that you're hoping to attract they need you to be more loving towards yourself to begin with that's the very first message coming through here is the most important relationship that you're ever going to forge is the love story you forge with yourself and the truth is is that this love story is a very rocky road when it comes to our own self-love so that's where we need to begin but this is also speaking about somebody that's going to be attracted to you that's going to match your energy and match your frequency in some way so that's beautiful so let's start here and take a look details about your next significant relationship what can pile number one expect in regards to their next significant relationship the three of cups I love that they started with the three of cups for you, pile one, because this is like the launching pad of joy, abundance, expectation. They want you to get out more. They're also speaking about friendship. The magician. The page of wands. The moon, I just saw a, like a, I'm Canadian, so this is interesting because I'm Canadian, they just showed me an American dollar bill that says, in God we trust. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I'm getting the, in, this inspiration coming for you, pile one, that really speaks about First of all, faith being a huge component of your journey towards love and abundance. Um, but also, there is something very, I almost feel like a southern vibe coming from this person coming forward for you or the next significant relationship. Now, this may be a very specific message to somebody watching, but I'm getting like the sense of somebody with very traditional values and a very traditional type of faith base and like Christian mentality. We have the devil and we have the five of wands. Capricorn energy. We also have Scorpio energy very strong here. We're going to 
we're going to clarify this as we go forward. So the good news about your next significant relationship is that there's a lot of reliability with this person. A lot of reliability. They're talking about the significance of this relationship showing itself as you progress in this connection because this is going to lead to changes in your life. Ultimately, the exploration that you take in the near future with this person, the way that you handle yourself, it's sort of the path that leads you to break free from old codependent attachments, whether it be energetic attachments or people in the past. It kind of gives you the, the desire to fight for something, the desire to fight for your own experience because there's a lot of attraction coming in for you, but I feel like the two of you are going to start in a very loosey-goosey format. You might just decide to be friends with benefits. You might just decide to keep things light and see where it takes you. There's a really strong communication energy coming forward with the magician here as well. And they're saying that this opportunity is going to pop up soon for someone um, watching. It's going to pop up very unexpectedly. It's going to pop up when you're still being triggered by that insecurity of the past and you're still struggling with some of that, with some of those lessons and some of those hurdles. This person feels like they have very kind of traditionally good looks too. Like um, if the divine masculine, I'm seeing like a chiseled jaw and I'm just seeing broad shoulders. There also could be somebody that actually works with their hands a lot. Like this could be a trade. This could be somebody who's very artistic, but there's like they work with their hands and they could work outside. We have the seven of swords. And when you start out this connection, you're, this person makes you laugh. Like they're funny. They're a lot of, you have a lot of fun with them. They make you laugh. I think that the two of you are different when it comes to some of your values and some of your upbringing. I think that there's some differences there. And the ego is going to use some of those differences to try to keep you in the mindset from what you've just been delivered from. So they don't want you to do that. They want you to see the potential. Like there's this basket's filled with eggs. So when you are experiencing the discomfort of just enjoying yourself, because that's what it feels like, we're so accustomed to getting used to comfort zones that are negative, that when we're in a new normal and we're having fun and we're just enjoying the process, that feels really unnatural to us and makes us want to go back to familiar feelings, even if those familiar feelings are limited. So don't let that happen. I feel like this is going to be a long-standing connection. This is going to be a very significant relationship in your life that leads to so many changes. There's a lot of loyalty with this person as well. We have the Four of Cups. And Spirit just really wants you to see a good thing when you when it arrives for you. That's what they really want you to, to see because this is a really great opportunity for growth. This is somebody who's very attentive as well. And this is not something you're used to in a connection. So that might make you, feel, again, it's like there's suspicion that comes up when they're attentive to you and you ignore the goodness of their attention, intentions, but then you kind of question the intentions. It's like when somebody shows up with flowers and in the past, maybe the only people that would show up for flowers with you are people who've done wrong or people who've hurt you. And this person's just gonna do it out of the blue. They're just that type of person. And you're going to be like suspicious, <laughs> but that's the ego talking. That's the ego trying to fill up that bottomless pit. <clears throat> and they are talking about fire really starting this connection off with a bang. Like you may find that, that you guys launch into a really physical connection, but there's nothing wrong with that. Spirit says that, that that's okay. We have the three of swords because they are speaking about how the best way to get over old connections is to get involved with new connections, but they're being a little bit more crass than that. Seven of wands, because this, this is opening up a path and it's trying to create a dent in the imprints that have happened within your heart space. This is leading you to a crossroads of reality transitions and some grief associated with that transition because it's hard to, to detach from an old comfort zone. Again, even if it was limited, this is the solution. This person's the solution. They're talking about this person being like literally physically strong too. They just showed me the strong man and I feel like this person doesn't go to the gym. I don't think that they're that type of person, but I don't think they need to because I think their job is very physical. 
so they don't need to. They're also speaking about emotions. We're starting with fire, but the emotion's gonna creep in with time. So there's longevity associated, associated with this cycle. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, you're gonna feel like you're in love. All of a sudden, you're going to feel like the challenge is gone and you've overcome it and this person has helped you get there. You're gonna feel like you're in love with this person. We have the Hanged Man and the Three of Cups. This is so exciting for you. Look at the zipper revealing what's about to be shown to you. They're asking you to just surrender. There's no struggle in the Hanged Man right now. In fact, her hands aren't even tied behind her back because Spirit's encouraging you to kind of use your hands. <laughs> it's like they say that idle hands are the devil's plaything. But in this case, Spirit's encouraging you to embrace this new cycle. It's a lot of fun. It could start out in friendship for some as well and be a very fiery connection before all of a sudden, boom, we're committed to each other. Can you tell me please <clears throat> more details about this person? There's also something about this person, if they have a very strict sort of upbringing when it comes to their faith system, you are going to chip away at some of that reasoning over time, slowly. They're a bit of a tough nut to crack but over time and slowly. We have the Six of Swords and we have the Queen of Wands. You could be in a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Here's the Six of Pentacles. For some, they're talking about this being a very strong karmic connection. And a lot of us will spend a, like our lifetimes with our karmic partners. There's a lot of growth here. I love that the Six of Swords is here because it's talking about the two of you growing together and learning more about each other and learning from each other as you progress in this connection. So if you are sitting in the insecure position of the devil, Spirit says there's more that's coming for you, but like attracts like. So if this moment, this could be what you're attracting in the present moment. And so to make the adjustment required, you may want to focus back on joy focus on abundance. They want you to laugh more. So just to shift your energy frequency back in this direction, they just want you to go out and have fun. They want you to laugh more. And the good news is that this person feels very funny. They're going to make you laugh. Details about your next significant relationship. Pile number one, please. Yep, here it's time to free yourself and it's time to take back control of your life. And that's the question that Spirit asks us. What, what is our constant companion? What thoughts are our constant companion right now? Are they one of abundance? Or are we speaking negatively about ourselves and our experience in this moment? We also have wedding. The situation involves marriage. There's commitment cycles perhaps associated with the Knight of Pentacles with time. So the longevity of this connection could extend for a very long time for some watching. So this is a very positive thing. They want you to know that it is safe for you to love in this environment. So open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. This person is very reliable. They're very dependable. I will say they do feel, again, very traditional. And for some reason, I just was shown like Britain. So please take that as it resonates. That will not be for everybody. We have TikTok, time, time being a factor. So be here now. Don't watch the clock. That's part of perhaps what's creating that blue energy from the flower that you were drawn to is watching the clock because a watched pot never boils. And so we may feel like the universe has ignored us or we've been waiting forever for this type of connection to come in. Spirit says we're not waiting, we're living right now. And so they want you to embrace that present moment because that's exactly the attraction that we need to we need to align ourselves with so that we can, like a magnet, draw this energy forward. But it's not in the past. Our future isn't in the past. Our future isn't in the future, truly. It's right here in the present moment. It's the only thing that exists. So in this moment, embrace the in-between. Find balance in your journey. Find balance within yourself and get prepared to launch yourself into something very significant in your experience. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number one. We have the page of pentacles in the reverse position. For someone watching, you may have already started this cycle. Spirit says it's like, it's it, when I'm asking about timing in my mind, they're, they're talking about 
almost like a reversal of time. It's like for some of you, you've already started communicating with somebody. Maybe you're already exploring something tentatively. Maybe you're unsure about yourself. This could be the path for you, Pow One. There's a lot of kind of a stress associated with it too. You have the Nine of Cups. We have the Three of Cups. And I just, I keep hearing that song from Toby Keith, I'm not as good as I once was. I've got a few years on me now. So there could be this fear surrounding age or timing here as well. That could be why we feel like our, our biological clock is ticking or something. It's like we want results in this moment. But Spirit says, don't be worried about quick results. Be worried about where your energy field is in this present moment because like attracts like. So the Three of Cups again is in your bowl. Get outside, have fun, do things that bring you joy in the present moment. We have the letter C. We have N and L and V as initials. Every time I see the V, I think of the Hierophant as well. There could be commitment cycles that come as a part of this significant relationship. We do have the squirrel and the hatchet. So I think about planting seeds, being willing to chop down old investments so that we're willing to take a leap of faith into new environments. We have Cupid's arrow coming suddenly out of the blue. We do have the Pisces energy with the fish bones. I think of the Ten of Swords, and they're talking about release, release that brings in new initiatives and new perspective starts. We also have the High Priestess trusting in your intuition to guide you. Pile one, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. If it does, please drop your comment below and please come back if you have to come back to drop your comment. I would love to hear your story. Um, you can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading and that link is below as well. And I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number two. You are drawn to the white flower. You are also drawn to the romance card and this is your reading. What details can spirit give you about your next significant relationship or perhaps the relationship that you're in currently if it is your next significant relationship for instance you were drawn to the white flower which is a symbol of hope for me and then we have the romance it says romance lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection so this is a beautiful card to be drawn to because it's talking about hopeful romantic cycles um, that are filled with potential and filled with excitement and filled with kind of the the dreamlike version of that romantic cycle, someone in love with the idea of being in love. So let's take a look here. Details about Pile 2's next significant relationship, please. We have the moon and we have the devil, Scorpio Capricorn. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Wheel of Fortune. The next significant relationship for pile number two, please. We have the Three of Coins. We have the Eight of Cups. Back of the deck is the Hermit. And we have the two of coins. Now, Spirit is already speaking about longevity here for you, Pile 2. This next significant relationship, I feel like the two of you will be together for quite a while. Um, you may even be together for quite a while before commitment cycles begin. So let's take a look here. You have the Knight of Cups. The person coming forward for you could definitely be a Scorpio energy, a Pisces or a Cancer. Emphasis on Scorpio, however. We also have Virgo energy here as well. The Temperance. And there's really something beautiful about the defenses that get dropped within the dynamics of this person. Like we start to build together. I feel like you're going to move in with this person, Pile 2. This is the connection that empowers you. This is the connection that makes you feel better, that makes you kind of eradicate some of the vulnerabilities from the past because this is signaling a change. This is signaling a huge change in your life. Your guides are asking you to trust your intuition to guide you here. 
the Four of Cups. And for some, the truth is that you might already know this person. You might be sitting upon a gem in this moment where we're not really seeing the forest through the trees. This person could be currently a friend or somebody that we know out in the world in our, in our perhaps even in our work realm, perhaps. Like there's just something about a, a knowledge that's already present here. The Queen of Wands reversed, not even reversed, but sideways. And it's like you're keeping yourself waiting um, because we're not seeing the opportunity that's sitting right here in this moment. So they're talking about somebody presently that you may already be aware of. But because of those defenses that need to come down, and because temperance is now just taking a back seat to that desire, that necessity, we're, we're having a hard time seeing the opportunity. So the same defenses that, that are coming down are the same defenses that are stopping us from seeing them in the moment. But that's okay because Spirit says you're going to see them. The Hermit sometimes takes baby steps towards clarity or towards reigniting that flame. And I love the message on your card that you were drawn to. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. Or personal attention and affection. And this person is going to be very affectionate. They're going to be hyper-focused on you. This is a very romantic person. As I said, I feel like this person is in love with the idea of being in love. They're just very romantic. They bring forward the best foot possible because they, like, they want, I feel like they want to be in a relationship with you. I feel like they could already want to be in a relationship with you if you already know this person. And so they're going to put in a lot of effort to make you, make you feel important and make you feel special. And there's a call to kind of balance out that eventually in this connection. But at first, I feel like you're going to be the star of the show. You're going to be have all the focus on you. This is the type of person that's going to be very generous in a traditional way. So they'll bring chocolates. They'll bring flowers. They'll be that type of person. I also feel like they're kind of an emotional person, but they, they feel like that's sometimes a bit of a weakness. And they're some type of creative type. For some, this person might work in like IT or work with computers in some way. As a, like a support. We have the Hermit again. And I love there's Virgo energy here. It's the Virgo energy here that's really going to be capitalizing. We could be speaking to the Virgos today. Beautiful Venus energy. And there's this aspect about how much empowerment you're going to receive. They're talking about this person making you realize that the worst is behind you. You feel safe with this person because they make sure you feel safe because they're so attentive. They're so attentive. Back of the deck is the Eight of Cups and there's the Four of Pentacles. Now in this moment, Spirit sees you in a period of transition. They see you kind of already overcoming the worst of your emotional issues or the bad relationship cycles that you've been involved in in the past they already see you have you've made progress but there's a little bit of a chip on our shoulder we're a little bit jaded because of what we've been through which is making us feel a little bit apathetic towards the future a little bit unsure of what we even want in the future here because the queen of wands she came out sideways she's not feeling as focused because of what she's just been through but there's this call to action with the hermits to ground ourselves, to, to acknowledge what the cycles that we have involved ourselves in, to forgive others and ourselves, to offer ourselves and others compassion so that we can move on and we can find abundance. I feel like this person brings you back down to earth in your connection too. Like they're just a steady force. They Because you're the star of the show, I feel like you really start to rely on this person for that support energy. And then there, there'll come a point in the future of your connection where there's going to be the requirement of that balance. So something might happen where they require more support. So maybe they'll lose a parent or maybe something will happen at work where they're going to really need you to step up to fill the shoes that they've been playing for you. But for at the first of this connection, you are the star of the show. And I do feel like you are going to be moving into with this person. They're also talking for someone specific that this could be a work connection that has is going to blossom into more. But that's just a secondary message. What can you tell me please about this person? I get the impression that someone in this connection, whether it's you or this person, is quiet. They're not really boisterous or loud. They're a very thoughtful person. They're a very creative person. 
But I feel like I feel like they are almost used to kind of being alone and not because they've been alone for a long time or they're, you know, they haven't been in relationships. It could be that they sort of do sometimes work at home or work by themselves. I, I'm getting this overwhelming impression about like IT support in some capacity for someone watching. We have the temperance. They are speaking about eventual commitment cycles, but it's going to take some time for the two of you to get there. We're going to be taking baby steps towards that goal, but that's not even the ultimate goal here. Spirit doesn't want that to be the ultimate goal. The joy of your journey, finding balance with each other, that's the goal. Dropping your defenses, finding empowerment from the energies that kind of have created a disempowerment inside of us, finding the empowerment in this connection. This person's very patient with you too. If you're the Divine Feminine, you're the fire energy. Um, they're very patient with you. We have the Three of Wands. They keep showing us the Eight of Cups. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Three of Wands, expansion. I get There's like a bouquet of flowers here, a bouquet of hearts with the bow. They think so highly of you. This person thinks very highly of you. They're very much attracted to you. I do feel like the Divine Feminine in this case could be a slightly older for someone watching as well. And we have the fool with the two of cups. And so they're encouraging you in the present moment. If you know who this person is, that's sort of circling around you in the present realm, hoping for more, and you're, you're aware of it. Spirit's encouraging you to take that leap of faith. They're encouraging you because they say that this could be the relationship that sets off everything in motion, sets off the ability to forgive, to forget, to move on into something more abundant. They're talking about this person being a solution. Details about your next significant relationship. I'm getting this sense of blue eyes for someone watching as well. And something about the eyes too, like really significant eyes, beautiful eyes. Maybe the blues in their eyes are very beautiful, just very significant eyes. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. This is this is sort of communicating a huge change in your life where you're outgrowing the past. This card came up in pile number one as well. You also have attraction. It says, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You're also drawn to the romance card to lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. It's like this it's like this situation encourages us to stop and appreciate the moment we have honeymoon phase enjoy the bliss of holiday time together there could be travel excitement in that realm as well with you and going through the honeymoon phase together specifically very strong towards you they're going to be whining and dining you that's why especially at the beginning they're going to whine and dine you we have passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy a very passionate connection between the two of you. This person's more about romance than they are about the physical realm, though. Like, obviously, they enjoy the physical realm, but they're more emotional about their passion with you than they are about the physical act that's more emotional-based. They want to connect with you. We have temporary situation with the tent, I think, of the yurt. And they are talking about moving in with this person. We have dolphin. Financial gain usually com coming from something you did in the past. There could be friendship associated with this person. And they're highlighting a really great laugh. We have here sexual matters, too much concern, and sorrow over a loss. That could be where we're coming from in this present moment. We may have grounded ourselves to a reality of a 3D situation. We may be in the process of moving on and trying to recapture hope in our own experience. We do have here forest, muddled, unclear thinking. They're highlighting the four of cups for me in this moment as well. So not being able to see the forest through the trees. Perhaps you think that somebody who's interested in you right th this moment is only interested in something, in something physical. This is not that person. This person's not that type of person. That fear is coming from a place of sorrow and, and loss that you're experiencing in the present moment. 
We have keep your life in balance, the scales. And there's a beautiful mixture here. This person has a lot of balance. They're very steady. They're a very steady person for you because there's a beautiful mix of the physical energy and the spiritual love between the two of you. We also have here waiting for news, package or letter, the bird is perched. And I feel like this person is kind of perched waiting, waiting to see if you're gonna notice them, waiting to see if you will, will take action towards them in some way. And you may be actually waiting for your life to change. And Spirit says, they may be dangling something in front of you either right now or very near in the future that you're going to be asked to take a look at. Instead, take action instead of waiting to take action. Ooh. Sorry about the wobble. The next significant relationship, please. Oh, on the floor. Yep, letting go, number 35. And it's number 35 because I feel like it's hard work. And they're also highlighting, again, the work realm for someone. And I'm hearing that song. I don't remember the name of the singer. Maybe Martine McBride. It's never easy letting go. I keep hearing that lyric over and over. It's never easy letting go. It's never easy to walk away. But this person is a beautiful... This person will offer a beautiful sort of launching pad towards your own success. We also have here go with the flow, meandering path, and they've highlighted the hermit. I always think of the hermit with this magician like wizard here. He's got his staff lit, he's walking, he's not going quickly, and Spirit's not talking about this moving in a very fast pace. I feel like there's longevity, but I also feel like to get to commitment cycles, we're going to take our time, but there's beauty in the journey. We do have leadership, the stag spirit, strength on the back of that deck. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number two. Significant relationship or details about their next significant relationship for pile two, please. Four of Cups in the reversal. Now we have the Four of Cups in the upright here as a support to your Wheel of Fortune. And right now, Spirit wants you to have a new outlook. They want you to take on a new perspective when it comes to something that's sitting right in front of you. Because right now, we're perhaps stuck here with the Five of Cups focused on what we've lost, focus on, focusing on what we don't have in the present moment, that we're not focused enough on the solutions and the opportunities available to us in the present moment. They want us to kind of take the lid off of our cup so that we can make the adjustment to what's happening inside of that cup. Are we giving from an overflow? Are we giving from a depletion? We have Chewbacca, I think about like a narrow, nerdy interest like Star Wars, League of Legends. We have the Ace of Pentacles, 1999. We have an ice, oh, we have the pickaxe and it was curled around the Emperor energy. Um, they're talking about pearls of wisdom and they're talking about somebody who's trying to chip away at a cold exterior or trying to make an impression upon you, perhaps right now. We have the letters E and we have the letters S and we do have Pisces energy for the Divine Feminine. And sort of embracing and in between all right that's what i have for you today pile number two if it resonates with you please drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me you can also check out my link for etsy for a personal reading and i do update that shop every weekday and on sundays so keep checking back but i hope that you come back here and visit me at the tarot cottage and i hope you have a great day hello pile number three you are drawn to the pink flower or to the be supportive card and this is your reading what can you expect out of the next significant relationship that you will experience this be supportive card says make a genuine effort make a genuine effort to show that you care it's a beautiful card here coming from the whispers of love oracle now this connection that is going to be very significant for you is perhaps going to be a very supportive connection but perhaps we have to cultivate that type of support together um, this is really it's like a challenge it's it's being presented to me as like a challenge you may find challenges in this connection to support one another or you may be called to support one another and this may require you to step outside of your comfort zone in a lot of ways so let's take a look here and see what can you expect out of this next significant relationship in your life pile three
page of cups. The Two of Pentacles, and they're coming out sideways, so I'm, I want to keep them like that. The Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. The King of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. And they ha we have the Queen of Wands. We have a lot of fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We also have a lot of earth energy here as well. We have Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Here is the Knight of Pentacles, and here is the Temperance. Now, what's really interesting about this connection, I'm trying to just get it to stay there, stay put. <laughs> Let's get some clarifying cards. But what I already feel about this connection, first of all, this person feels very attractive, like in a physical sense, like they just have... I feel like they have, they're tall, if they're the divine masculine, they just have a lot of really attractive physical features. I feel like for some watching as well, that they could have very sort of auburn or brownish hair. So that's coming across too for someone sp specifically. Now, what's really interesting here is that we have the Knight of Pentacles on the back of deck, but we have the King of Pentacles in the center of the reading. And this is speaking about growth. Growth from the time you meet this person to the time when perhaps the two of you, again, commit together or decide to separate, whatever the case may be in the future of this connection, that's not really our concern. This is going to be a long-standing connection or it's going to be a very significant connection for you and this person. And they're talking about maturity and growth and growing together. We even have temperance on the back of deck here. We have the tower coming and supporting the knight I'm sorry, the Page of Cups. And the Temperance is all a kind of a call to action to find balance so that we don't fall into old codependent attachments and our behaviors and our thoughts towards other people. And they are saying that this connection is going to has either started already and has popped up suddenly out of the blue and you didn't expect it, or it's going to pop up in that way. You're not going to expect that this is like the person that you're going to spend a lot of time with, but it is going to lead to permanent change. Permanent change. Now, what's interesting is that the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands is in the state of limbo in your second position here. And they're talking about an unreadiness to commit. So at first, you or this person won't feel ready for commitment. Not that you're not commitment material, because I feel like you both are, but we're carefully and making careful calculated steps towards our goals here. Somebody's being very cautious and, and I feel like the cautious energy comes from someone in this connection not feeling like they could ever rely on other people. And so they don't want to rely and put all their eggs in any basket because they don't want to ever feel like they have to rely on people. Because if they do rely on people, the rug could get swept out from underneath them and they don't have anything of a foundation to rely upon in that moment. So that could be you or this person embodying that fear. But that's why you were drawn to this be supportive and show, make a genuine effort to show you care. This is a call to action for you or for your person and about sort of the necessities in this connection to create support for each other. I do feel like this is going to start off in a very, very physical connection. They're talking about just embracing the journey with no concept of commitment cycles. That could be um, how the first year or so starts, to be honest. It could even be extend beyond that, where we're just kind of keeping things natural, keeping things loose. We're not going to define anything in our connection. And it's interesting because I'm getting this double message about whose idea that is. It's like you might blame this person because it's their idea and they might blame you because they think it's your idea. It's like whose idea is this to not define the connection? And this fear of defining the connection is a, a physical example, a physical representation of that lack of support that we've experienced and not wanting to rely on it. Like really being attracted to each other and really wanting to be together, but being afraid to rely on each other. So it's like the stalemate between two people. That's what I'm feeling in this, in this significant connection is this stalemate between two people that that want to be together but don't know how to progress, don't know how to proceed, don't know, really know how to listen to the notes of intuition to, to guide them there. You have the death. But what we don't realize is that this death energy that's supporting all of this momentum, which will feel in the moment like we are just 
hanging out together and we're just having fun and we're not defining anything and we're not making plans necessarily for the extended future what you both don't see happening is this death cycle creeping up on you and that's a positive thing this isn't something to be afraid of this is old energy dying so we can have brand new energy and have a brand new rebirth and it sort of creeps up on us the permanency of this connection creeps up on us <laughs> It's like we slowly, unbeknownst to ourselves, we start to rely on each other. We start to ex have expectations forming in our mind. We start to enjoy each other's company enough that we don't want it to end. We start to want and need that clarification. We have the Three of Wands. This person is very, very focused on the physical realm with you in the very beginning of this connection. And some of that has seeds or triggers based on insecurity they get a lot of their ego from that i do feel like this person is in a career where they will reach a higher level like they're working towards a goal and they will reach a higher level and i just heard foreman so it's like they will reach a higher level in their career we have the two of swords And this connection is bringing the both of you into a, a crossroads that is allowing both of you to tackle the blockages in your root chakras. Your fear of safety, security. It's almost like eventually it's going to force you to turn your back upon the emotion that you're feeling. And there's the Ten of Swords. Back of the deck is the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Now, there's an expectation energy coming in from this Ten of Swords. And you can see the Ten of Swords, somebody's been impaled on the beach with their version of the truth. But the good news here is that our expectations won't be matched here. We may have this expectation going into this connection that we're just going to keep it, again, as friends, keep enjoying each other, but not really defining the connection. But it's actually representing a benchmark of our building together, our benchmark of our success. Here's the Two of Pentacles, and there's the Justice. And as I said, Two of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, they're talking about this mini chariot energy and how this may start as something that we're not defining. This may start as something that we're just enjoying the process of, but we are eventually going to move into commitments. We are eventually going to walk through this cycle or have the opportunity, I should say, because only you and this person can decide whether you want to walk through that gateway completely, but you will be brought to the precipice of commitment cycles. It will be brought to the precipice of moving yourselves into different positions in the dynamics of this relationship. It might take a couple of years to get there, to get to a commitment phase. But again, there's a lot of abundance. There's a lot of happiness in this build. The temperance has showed up for every, every pile today. And there's a call to action every time the temperance shows up for us to find balance in the journey, to transmute the unsavory into something useful, into something beneficial for the human experience. And so there's something really beautiful about this aspect too. Can you tell me about this person, please? The King of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. Twin Flame Energy. This person has some type of focus around a sports team or like they have like something that is their favorite because they just showed me like um, like a gathering, like a sports team gathering or like the Super Bowl, you know, we have Super Bowl parties. They just showed that to me. And there's this beautiful tower that's being built with effort in this connection. I do feel, to be honest with you, for some watching, and not everybody will want to hear this. <laughs> so if this aligns with your goals and your path, obviously this is a choice that you have to make, but I feel like there could be a family and children in the future of this connection. And we are it's going to have to take time to get there. We have to start at square one with that exploration. But I just heard Toucan Sam, follow your nose. <laughs> follow your nose. Follow this opportunity down the rabbit hole and where it leads you might just surprise you. Yeah, there's a beautiful momentum, the Eight of Wands. We also have the moon. They're talking about travel potential, taking vacations together. They're also talking about changes in your life, major change in your life. They're also speaking to me about long hair 
and big eyes. So please take that as it resonates. That could even, even be representing the Divine Feminine here in this situation. We also have the Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Now, they're asking you not to look backwards to whatever it is you're coming from. This person's going to make you feel secure. Ultimately, it's going to take time for you to actually surrender to that security, but they're going to make you feel happy. They're going to make you feel secure. You're going to be proud of the position that you enter into financially. They're going to be very abundant. You're going to be very abundant. Other people will sort of envy that position. And I feel like the two of you look really, really good together in the physical department. There's something, and there's something about eyes and hair for the divine feminine. I think the two of you look really good together. to stuff in your next significant relationship please we have it is safe for you to love that card has been coming up in every single pile today this is like a collective consciousness right now surrounding safety and security in relationships it is safe for you to love in this cycle I also um, saw an uncredited unrequited love energy so you may be coming from that perspective where you just don't want to open your heart space we do have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I did see reconciliation reversed. Someone from your past returning to your life. I do not get that as an overarching theme, ultimately, uh, but there could be a past life connection here. We also have here getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. And that's what you're going to do at the very beginning of your connection. For some, you may be already be doing it with a current person in your life right now. It's just exploring, getting to know each other. But as that happens, you're going to naturally progress into this deeper bond, into this transition, into this crossroads where we finally release and we go towards something more abundant. We have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Now, this is an indication of timing. It's also an indication of current investments. If you're currently invested in a relationship that sounds like this, Spirit says you need to define which direction you want to go in. What to expect in your next significant relationship for pile number three, please. We have exchanging gifts. Beautiful ballerina with the with the kitty cat being generous with each other. And that's what I love about your pile as well. The first card you were drawn to was be supportive. It says, make a genuine effort to show that you care. And the two of you are going to be exchanging that beautiful gift of support. They're also asking you to open up Pandora's box, having the strength and be flexible with your expectations. If your expectations are already kind of limited in the present moment, know that some of those expectations may be seated in the past and past conflicts. So they want you to be flexible with the opportunity be flexible with your clarity as well, and be patient. There's something about patience here that will be a virtue for you. And we have breathe. I love that this was drawn out for you. It's number 29, which again, brings us back down to the justice energy. And she's sitting on a lily pad suspended on the emotion. She's getting a moment to be able to exhale, to take a deep breath, to feel that support of the emotional world supporting her. So there's just something available to you in this connection in the future that looks and sounds a lot like that. about this person coming forward please what can you expect in this connection for pile number three marriage full-fledged full-fledged commitments quill getting back to basics starting from square one and i i feel like this person could have very traditional type of values every time i see the knight of pentacles i think about that but starting at square one Be prepared for changes in your life. The Scorpio energy of the moon. And bridge, successfully overcoming problems. This person is a bridge. We have older woman, dealings in relationship with an older woman. So there is a feeling of, about the divine feminine being slightly older. I actually got that message for pile two as well. So there could be a message waiting for you there as well. Nothing too extreme. I don't feel like there's anything really extreme in that In that age energy 
dice for pile number three in the bowl. Miss the bowl. Knight of Swords, Three of Swords. Right now there's heartbreak. Right now there's disappointment. Um, and we're jumping to that conclusion. We're, we're running with that feeling. But it's kind of like running through the house with a knife. It's very dangerous. We shouldn't be doing it. Instead, Spirit's trying to halt us with this clarity and asking us to seek out more information about where that's coming from and about whether or not it's time for us to clear it out or if it's time for us to take action regardless of that feeling to seek out more information because we may be hesitating because of the influence of that three of swords instead of instead of um allowing the three of swords to be a lesson that's supposed to carry us into new opportunities we have divine we have pizza we have the letter n and k and y and l we also have here the hot air balloon looking at things from a higher perspective to allow us to transition and we have divine feminine energy and expansion compassion more empowerment all right love that's what i have for you today i hope that it resonates if it does resonate please drop your comments below for a chance to win a reading with me be sure to hit your notification bell so that if you are notified as the winner we can get the ball rolling uh, you can also check out my link for etsy for personal reading wait did i already say that <laughs> but i hope that you come back here and visit me at the tarot cottage and i hope that you have a great day